We are the Sooner Rover team, an interdisciplinary team from the University of Oklahoma composed of over 40 students ranging from engineers to geologists focused on training, outreach, and innovative design. Today, we are excited to present Remy, this year's rover. The rover communicates with mission control over a 2.4 gigahertz antenna capable of transmitting over a kilometer through obstructions. And NVIDIA Jetson powers a flexible video streaming program that displays multiple camera angles for each mission. Custom control programs allow an operator to rapidly switch modes of operation on the rover. A Teensy microcontroller in the e-box receives UDP packets and then writes PWM to each wheel for speed control. Each wheel also contains an independent power system to provide sufficient charge and modularity for each mission. A custom CAN bus system has also been implemented to allow reliable communication between different subsystems and sensors on the rover. In the fine manipulation mission, an operator must precisely control the rover from a distance using the onboard cameras and sensors. Inverse kinematics and PID algorithms ensure that the arm functions exactly as the operator commands and with ease. The arm also utilizes multiple microcontrollers to split computation and reduce input delay. Video from the cameras as well as encoder data is sent back to mission control and displayed on a custom UI to make controlling the arm easy and intuitive for any operator. Our articulated arm stands on a wide platform, meaning we're able to reach high levels of stability and precision without sacrificing the necessary power to rotate the arm and any payload. Two linear actuators give the bicep and forearm mobility, while the pitch utilizes chain to move the wrist up or down. Employing the pitch allows us to operate switches, a joystick, and pick up items off of the ground. Finally, the wrist is made up of several sub-assemblies. The reinforced slip ring assembly allows the rover to rotate continuously without damaging wires and assistant tasks such as turning an Allen key and positioning. The claw pinches with opposing Acme screws that hold objects along the central axis. Spanning over 14 centimeters, the claw can easily grasp a wide range of objects. For heavier payloads that require less precision, hooks mounted onto the forearms allow the rover to lift and carry any objects with handles. Rumi's unique Marzaka design allows us to navigate difficult terrain with ease. The chassis spine rotates around a central hinge while each dead axle is able to pivot independently. This enables all six wheels to maintain contact with the ground. The large conical wheels allow for self-contained electronics, which lowers the center of gravity and makes each wheel electrically independent. This low center of gravity enables Rumi to safely ascend and descend steep inclines. Combined with the strength of Rumi's arm end effector, we are able to manipulate payloads over a wide range of terrains. The science package and testing methods have been redesigned to meet the requirements of this year's mission. Two forward-mounted camera arrays have been implemented in the design. The first array mounted at the lower front of the rover chassis will allow the operator to view the site and samples. The second camera mounted near the top of the science package will provide a panoramic view of the site as well as permit documentation of the past and current presence of water. The sample carousel has been replaced by a sample containment system mounted on the linear actuator. A solo auger mounted on the linear actuator and housed within an aluminum tube will drill to the requisite depth of 10 centimeters. The sample will then be raised and deposited into the sample container for analysis. During the drilling process, a set of sensors will monitor the subsurface temperature and humidity of the site to a depth of 10 centimeters, as well as monitor and document the presence of subsurface methane at the site. Spectrographic analysis of the sample will be performed using a 365 nanometer fluorescent light sensor to identify the presence of bacteria, including fluorescent methanogens. This year, we are using a DJI Mini 3 Pro for aerial surveillance for different sections of the competition. For the autonomous mission, given a set of GNSS coordinates, Remy is capable of navigating directly to a destination autonomously. To do this, Remy utilizes a PID controller to adjust its bearing to be in line with the destination and its wheel speeds to make it over difficult terrain and obstacles. Once Remy reaches its destination, its LEDs flash green to show that it has completed its run. Remy can also find and navigate to Aruco tags using its Hudley Go camera and OpenCV's Aruco library. While traveling to a set of GNSS coordinates, Remy will actively search for the designated Aruco tag. Once an Aruco tag has been detected, Remy utilizes the same PID controller to adjust its bearing to be in line with the Aruco tag. For the last leg of the autonomous section, we've developed an object detection model built on top of YOLO V8 and trained on a custom data set. Remy and the Sooner Rover team are excited to compete in this year's University Rover Challenge. 